the Retro Readers and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another bookish video and I am continuing on my series of I read my first novel series. So in this series I read popular authors and um, tell you guys my thoughts and opinions on them. So in this video I am read I read my first Nora Roberts book and the previous episodes on this series, I read Stephen King, which I liked, and um, I read Nicholas Sparks, which I did not like. <laughs> so let's talk about Nora Roberts. So I feel like Nora Roberts is a very popular author, unless, but she's not like a renowned author on booktube, at least in my case. Um, the booktubers I do watch, the only one that I have seen her, like, mentioned and enjoyed is uh, Books Like Woe's channel. I also feel like the stigma, but, like, there's this, oh no. I also feel like there's a stereotype uh, to Nora Roberts, and um, the stereotype is that she only writes romance novels, and, um, that isn't the case, at least in my opinion. I found out that she writes mainly romance novels, of course, but she also writes uh, suspense novels or like thrillers. And she also writes like, she dabbles into paranormal uh, books. So I just wanted to break the stigma or not stigma, but stereotype of that, that she doesn't only write like romance. <laughs> the first novel that I've ever read by Nora Roberts was The Reef by Nora Roberts, obviously. I'm trying to look at, instead of look at myself in the camera, I'm looking at the actual camera so that I can make eye contact, but I don't think it's working because my glasses. So <laughs> um, I'm just gonna look at myself. Is it working? Yeah, okay. So. <laughs> I read The Reef by Nora Roberts, obviously, and I really enjoyed it. I rated it 4.5 unofficially out of 5 stars, but officially it's 4 out of 5. As you can tell, I freaking loved this book. Um, this book is basically about two families, and um, they join together, join forces to look for a cursed amulet that is buried at sea. So it involves treasure huntings, uh, not skydiving, what am I, diving, basically, not, what am I trying to say, scuba diving? No, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and it's, it has a very piratey feel, but it's more like modern day piracy, um, where like there's yachts and, um, rich business people who go treasure hunting for fun. Um, but this book was a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, they're, yeah, it just basically follows two families. They're looking for a cursed amulet that's buried at sea and the whole time they're looking for it, there's also another like bad guy villain who uh, is trying to hunt the treasure too, the cursed amulet. And he's like driven by greed and it's just a lot of fun. <laughs> so there's a subplot of romance in this, and the romance is Hate to Love, which we all know by now that I really love Hate to Love like romances. And that's more of like a subplot though. Um, the main plot is just like them trying to find the cursed amulet before the guy the evil guy does. And it's really good. I really liked it. <laughs> what I liked about this um, was the writing. I feel like this book was just just amazing. It really... I've only read one Nora Roberts book before, but I feel like it really drew me in. The writing did. It was very descriptive, but without being flowery, if that makes any sense. So like you still knew what was no like what was going on, um, instead of being like drifted away from by like 
writing the flowery writing i don't know at least that's how i feel <laughs> very suspenseful too it kept me on the edge of my seat and i actually read ended up reading like half the book in one sitting which is great <laughs> um <laughs> very suspenseful loved the romance loved the writing absolutely i will not stop talking about the writing <laughs> um and it was it was just a fun read, honestly. Um, I didn't really hate anything too bad about it. It was a little bit slow in the beginning, but other than that, it was really amazing, honestly. Just great. Um, I have never experienced a Nora Roberts book before, and this one, just my experience with it was just amazing, and I highly recommend the Reef if you want to get into Nora Roberts, I guess. But I before I like don't take that saying with like anything. <laughs> take it with a grain of salt because this is the only book that I've read by Nora Roberts. So I'm sure there's like other ones that I'm going to love more than this, but I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, Nora Roberts, I just loved this, honestly. Just what else can I say about this? It was also, if you're looking for a summary read too, I highly recommend this because obviously it deals with like treasure hunting at the sea and the beach, so it got those um, summery beachy vibes with a hint of, well, not a hint, but a splatter of uh, piracy, piratey type feeling vibes, so yeah. After reading The Reef though, I honestly, I've only owned three Nora Roberts books on my bookshelf and it is The Reef, uh, Northern Lights, and Birthright. And I haven't read all of them, but I decided after reading this and absolutely loving it um, to go to one single thrift store and buy all the Nora Roberts I could grab my hands on. So behind me are all the books that I hauled at the thrift store, one single thrift store. Um, I wiped out the thrift store completely of Nora Roberts, um, except if it was in a series, like, and it wasn't the first book in the series, I didn't end up picking them up. But you could tell I really like it, and you could tell that I wiped the store out completely of Nora Roberts, um, <laughs> which was a lot of fun to um, stand there while the lady, the cashier, was scanning all the books and she goes, man, Nora Roberts, huh? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And she goes, well, I haven't read anything by her. I'm like, you should. And so after she like rang me out and I paid and everything. She went to the books and um, obviously there was none left because <laughs> I wiped out the store, which that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I would recommend Nora Roberts to people who like suspense and romance um, or suspenseful books with the hint of romance or just romance in general um, and who like and people who like like descriptive writing that draws you into the story instead of away like flowery writing does to me um yeah <laughs> nora roberts was a hit for me um yeah <laughs> so that's going to be it for this video um i hope you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments down below if you have read anything by Nora Roberts and if you enjoyed it or what your opinions were, um, if you didn't like it, if you liked it, whatever. Or if you have heard more about Nora Roberts and I don't know. <laughs> or if you, <laughs> um, or if you, uh, have any other authors that you want me to try out and read. Uh, that are popular for this series, uh, let me know in the description, or not in the description, in the comments. Wow. <laughs> and uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up uh, if you want. You can subscribe. I post bookish-related content 
pretty much every Thursday. Uh, um, and yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a good day.